Welcome to the Daily Review. This is Fed Rezac, Senior Trading Strategist here at CM Trading. And today is February 20th, 2024, and today is Tuesday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, markets really unchanged. And that's really because yesterday was a national holiday and the markets were closed in the U.S. Now, however, looking at today, major economic events starting out at 3.30 South African time coming out of Canada, yearly CPI number coming out. Now, as we look at the various markets, starting out with the forex symbols, very light volume yesterday, and most of the markets were unchanged when it came to forex symbols. And looking at the indices, the U.S. markets were closed, so that was unchanged. Now, looking at the commodities, gold was mostly unchanged yesterday, and oil hanging on to that resistance level, not changing as well. Now, looking at the stocks, the question is whether or not we'll get a bounce today. That's what we'll be focused today. And lastly, looking at cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin holding on to its gains still. Now, let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So here we go. First with the Canadian dollar because it's having big news coming out today. Now, I don't expect anything crazy to happen today, but you do want to know its levels. Now we have bounced off of a support-ish area and it does look like pretty much we are in a consolidated state. Okay, There is higher highs, higher lows, but it's a very subtle upwards trend and it's really choppy trading. So at most, just know that on the upside, Maybe we'll hit 135.67-ish level. That's your resistance-ish level. And on the downside, if we do break that blue line, which is a 30-day moving average, we'll see a correction down to 133-ish level, possibly. Okay, so that's what I'm looking at today. As usual, Turkish Lira makes another low to 30.83. That's not a big deal. Another three pips, but it continuously goes and makes new lows. Now, jumping into commodities, gold remained unchanged yesterday for the most part. Okay, if we look at it at a one hour chart, you can see it. It's just like really very subtle yesterday, two, three dollar range. And if you look at crude oil, it's on its resistance level, it hasn't changed, and this may still see a breakout. So keep an eye on it because if it does start capitulating start you know getting excited you know it may break that upwards move now looking at the u.s markets the dow jones did sell off towards the end of last week we're making a lower high okay we did sell off aggressively that was just testing the market however the stocks are not selling off so the markets are still relatively strong at least at this stage now it's not going to give it to you so you're going to have to look for cues now the ones that were the strongest were the bank stocks the jp morgan and we're going to take a look at that in just a second to see where it's holding now looking at the nasdaq also selling off just mildly and here we are a little bit more stock specific because not all the fang stocks are going up some of the stocks are relatively weak apple namely while google amazon facebook is still relatively strong so with that, it's not a clear indication that we're going to get a sell-off. So jumping into the specific stocks, let's get into it because we did get into it yesterday. Facebook, relatively strong, near its highs, didn't really retrace. If we look at Apple, though, on the bottom of its range, and this has been a really choppy market for Apple as well. So looking at Microsoft also a little bit further from its highs as that receded as well. Let's take a look at JP Morgan. That is important. It's close to its highs and it's relatively holding on. So not everything is weak. Some are weaker than others, but there's no clear like breaking down. I'm going to have a massive sell off. I would look for Apple and Microsoft to do that. If they do do that, that may mean that we might see a change in the market, but otherwise we're still holding on. And if we look at the other big stock, Amazon still holding on as well as that has still consolidated. Now looking at Bitcoin holding on 51,900 just off of its 52k not a big deal it's still consolidating in this area yes we'll get a big move either upside or downside We've got to wait until that actually happens that's the way Bitcoin trades this is Fed Rezac. I want to wish you guys a great trading day thank you